Hey fam, it's Mama Bear and I'm back. I wanted to finish off my January challenges. So the hubs gave me 60 bucks to work with and plus I had three left over from some change from before. So I wanted to try to see if I can finish the budgeting word search where each word equals $5. Because we were running low on funds, I wasn't able to finish the little mini challenge that I made. So that one will be just left as the $20 only. So we didn't quite make the 100, but better luck next month. And this is a shorter month. So I'm hopeful that we'll have more um, opportunity to stuff. In one moment, okay? Yeah. That was my little bear talking about Tom and Jerry on TV. <laughs> but anyways, let's see if we can get started. All right, so what we got here. I see budget. All right, so how are y'all doing? How did you do with your challenges this month? Um, hopefully you guys had a chance to save something. As we know, any little bit towards the goal is a, a checkbox for the win. So even if you were like me and you didn't quite do all the things that you wanted to do for your challenges, any little bit helps. Every little bit helps, I should say. Um, and as far as the budget that we had with our discretionary funds, I guess, so to speak, we kind of went over well, a lot. We had a lot of unexpected expenses come up, but because they are discretionary, it didn't stop us from doing anything. We didn't, we didn't, it didn't put us in any type of financial bind, which is more so I wanted to kind of get an idea and see what I can do with what we had. Um, I do need to rework our numbers to make them more functional or basically better allocate the funds for what we're doing. And then eventually we'll be able to save more. But just for now, being aware of what we're spending is a huge win. It's a good insight for us and it definitely um, overall is still helping. So I'm not mad about it. I, like I mentioned in my last video, I was a little bit upset because I wanted to do more. But I also understand that even the, what I did do is still worth celebrating. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not beating myself up too much about it, basically. Found debt while I'm chatting. All right. But I hope you guys had a good uh, start of the new year in January with making your goals. And since February is a short month, that'll definitely help out as well. Here's YouTube. I do want to encourage you, if you haven't already, um, please like my videos and subscribe. Um, I know I'm just getting started, but I do feel like I have something that's um, useful. And hopefully you guys are finding it interesting enough to hang around till the end of the videos. Um, YouTube is done. And where are we at here? We have... Mm -hmm. What am I looking for? I think, did I already do Etsy? Let's see. I did coins. I did debt. YouTube. Budget. So that's 20 so far. Let's see. Etsy is here. Diagonal. There is a diagonal one. Oh yeah, so from the last video when I tried to find bills and I um, marked the wrong area, I still haven't had a chance to find bills, but I did go ahead and reprint this out because no matter how much erasing, nothing got rid of it. So, oh, there's Frugal. Frugal. Um, and Frugal is also at a diagonal. Hmm. But yeah, I still haven't found bills and I had to reprint, which wasn't a huge issue because I do have a printer. 
And it was very relaxing recoloring it, it in, so that was cool. But yeah, these um, color pencils do not erase very well. Google. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 30, and it would have been 35 if I found bills, but I did not. So 35, so I'll take 40. And I think I have change in here from the last time. So I'm gonna swap out a five. Yep. For these two 20s. And I just put all the savings challenge money in this one little envelope here. Right. I'm gonna fold that up. Now, if you guys downloaded this from the link that I left last time and you found bills, show me where this is, like screenshot it or something and tag me on Instagram. Because I don't know where it's at. I even had my husband try to look for it, and we neither one of us can find it, so. All right, so what we're left with is 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 28. Let me see if what I have here that I can stuff is 28. And I've already done the 8. Um, again, if I could break this up, we can do the 12 and the 16. Not nah, that's going to be too messy, and I don't have enough for that. So let's see, maybe I can do, I've already done the 20. I don't need the eight. Let's see. I guess I can stuff it all in 28 just to make it simple because I don't have change. Yeah, I'll just do that, stuff it all in 28. So we saved a little bit of change, I'm not mad at it. Definitely more than I would have had otherwise because I'm usually really not big on saving. So this already is a win for me, honestly. And even just keeping track of our purchases and things, that's helped a lot as well. Just being conscious of what's being spent and where it's going. So if you're like us and you're just really getting started, the first step is just having everything laid out. Even if you don't get it right, or get or meet the goals that you set for yourself just being aware being aware of it is a huge benefit but I marked 28 there I do thank y'all for your time and your attention like I said if you do like the content please like and subscribe um check out my other videos definitely check out my website rileyapproach.com it's a link in the description as well along with my husband's website which is velocityunleashed.com and until next time I'll see you later fam Bye.